Let's talk for a second, though, about the kids' table debate. First of all, they had an audience. Wow. The candidates were treated with respect. Uh, Lindsey Graham did very well, and he was actually quite funny. I mean, he really, he really um, was very self-deprecating with his humor, and his jokes were, were very, very good. Jindal was also very strong, but who cares? Yeah. Uh, we had two governors and we had two senators. I mean, that's, that's a lot of substance at the, at the dais, and yet nobody's going to care about anything those two guys said. Mm. And there was more substance in their one to one and a half hours Versus the three plus mosh pit with the yeah, old. I mean that said a lot, doesn't it? There was more substance on the kiddies table <laughs> than in the main debate in terms of policy analysis. But what's hap what's happening structurally in these debates, I think, is that you know it's Trump versus everyone else. But the problem is everyone else is is disseminated over so many people that there isn't a sort of co coherent line of attack. So it all just seems like oh, Trump is is the main focus, and until the the field kind of uh, narrows down a little bit. It's going to be very difficult, I think, to, to sort of produce a discourse or a line of argument that, that, that can be, you know, obvious in its attack in, in what, what Trump is doing. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, let's.